area in Hunter Park. A slightly scruffy but friendly place at Avoca Beach. At the moment, there are no paths across our small park. But Norman and Beth Hunter, the theatre owners, would like to see a real network. And we need to know where they would go and why they want them. I'm here to talk about the voluntary planning agreement that uh, Hunters is submitting to Council. Now, what is that exactly? Basically, it's an agreement uh, for the Hunters to, uh, if you like, donate $500,000. That's the sum, the total sum, $500,000. Right. 300000 of which is going towards the embellishment of Hunter Park, where we're standing now, okay. and 200000 towards the uh, car park over the road in South End Park, the existing car park. So, Mike, you've got to ask yourself a few questions about this. It's a voluntary planning agreement. They don't have to do this. They've volunteered it. They're asking ca Council to enter into a deed of agreement with them. And Why? giving money, huh? Giving money, giving $500,000. You've got to ask yourself the question, why would they do that? So, it's plain to see, Mike, they want bang for their buck. Okay. Everything is centred around the proposed theatre. All paths leave to and from the theatre. The major landscaping, a water feature and a courtyard will be just here in front of the theatre. Yeah. Okay. Um, and right outside their entrance to the cafe gallery area. Adding some colour to the Hunter plans helps know where we are. There's the sea and our beach. Here's the existing theatre. The four new screens there. New luxury units at the side and back of the theatre. And right in front, circling paths. And some sort of square seating or meeting place. And into all of this comes this impressive path from the beach, heading straight for the theatre. I'll mark it out for you. And this other one too, from Vine Street, bringing people to the theatre circle. All these paths by a happy chance, delivering pedestrians to the theatre. Where will they go in exactly? Steve has signposted the spot. And on the Hunter illustration here, we guess that this orifice is the entrance. It's not just a here you are, we're going to make the pass nice for you. It's a here you are, we're going to make the park look like it's a part of the theatre. Right. And that's, that's my impression of, of the plans. Steve points out that the barbecue will have to go. You can't have cooking smells uh, below the units there. See where the existing seat is yeah. in, in, in the distance? Yeah, they've got a couple of little huts marked there. Uh, hopefully they'll be barbecue, but they want people to, to take their sausage smells and barbecue on the roadside yeah. rather than up here in the ground. Well, of course the they do. Right? They don't want the people yeah. there. Yeah. Any, any of the plebs that are barbecuing will have to get barbecue with the cars running past. Okay, oh, lovely. Oh, so. <laughs> yes, and all those palms along the boundary line, of course they'll go. Which palms? Oh, all those palm trees along the boundary line, they'll go, because there's got to be a building there. Come to think of it, how does a park feel when it's overshadowed by million dollar units uh, with their balconies looking down. Have the hunters thought of that? Steve, do you, do you think they feel some sort of entitlement because they gave the park to the community? No, Mike, no. <laughs> That's an urban myth. That's been perpetuated over many years, I think. Most people think that this park was donated by the... Uh, by, I've heard Michael the, say that a hundred times. Yes, and it's on the, on the theatre website. If you look through, you'll find it on the theatre website that this park was donated by the Hunter family. Oh, okay. uh, 1975. Yeah. And there it is. 
And it says, in essence, that uh, Hunter Park was sold for $200,000 in 1975 to the Lands Department, and it's now in control of the council. We do have to tread carefully here. I mean, a path from the beachfront across the park to Avoca Drive near the Theatre Lawn would surely, just like a second screen for the theatre itself, be a very good idea. Council has shown that it can build beautiful paths. You only have to go to Terrigal to see that. Oh, it's like Australia. Meanwhile, on the other side of the theatre, there's the other 200,000 for parking. So, just wanted to be clear that the 200,000 will just simply pave that existing park, car park. Mm. It will not bring but any extra parking. But how can a private business, they're supposed to provide on-site parking or an expanded business. How can they meet that, that uh, obligation by doing that? I can't see that. Exactly my point. There is absolutely no on-site parking for the staff. There's no on-site parking for the extra patients of the four theatres that are coming in, for the cafe that's coming in, for the gallery function area that's coming in. Right. No on-site parking at all. All these extra people are going to have to find somewhere to park. And you've seen it here when it's peak parking. It's ridiculous. If you'd like to oppose the voluntary planning agreement, you can write to Gosford City Council about it. You can share this movie with friends. And you can like our Facebook page where all the news will be.